It's the Z List with Zoltan and Miguel. Giving you new and unique insights into being an actor in Los Angeles every week. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Z List, the show that informs you into unique insights into what it is to be an actor in Los Angeles every week. Um, as you can tell, uh, James is no longer on the show. Um, his unprofessionalism and continued bad attitude got him kicked off and that's all I'm gonna say about it and uh, I truly was the bigger man in the situation that's all I'm gonna say about it but we have a new uh, co-host um, now um, I'm Zoltan and this is Miguel so it's now the Z list with uh, Zoltan and Miguel um, I held an audition for hosts and um, he was the only one who showed up, and I thank you for that. Thanks. And um, so he's the host now. Hey, everybody. How's everyone doing out there in TV world? All right. I guess that's the opening banter for today. So um, without further ado, we're going to bring out our first guest. So come on down. <laughs> I don't think we're happy to come Well, we're happy to have you on. Thank you. And we appreciate you um, taking time out of your busy day to, yeah. to come on the show and discuss what it's like to be a talent living in Los Angeles. When I came from Massachusetts, because my friend moved to, and it was a shock. We were here from Massachusetts, because so different, because in Massachusetts, I was so focused on medicine, and, and then said about half mad with real books about talks about film work but all the time when I moved here my focus shifts to a different people mm -hmm. and I would try acting because I have Made a fit into that. Like, there was two classes in like in movies to be commercial. Mm -hmm. So I thought I will try to save the because it's fun. That's, that's the dream, isn't it? To come yeah. and be in movies and uh, commercials and even. Um, very low budget web series interview shows. Yeah. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about your experience as an actor and some of the high points and low points, if you'd like. We, we love the low points. Sure, but no, um, when I first moved to a new love battle, but I met a great person. His name is Dave Zipperman, mm -hmm. and he has workshops for performers of how to fit a pivot of neck, how to get proper, or versus proper, or for the script problem. So, it was a good network for me to meet other people. Mm -hmm. I wanted to film television, read a script. Yeah. But, I know I'm very competitive to get a more even a background more. Because when I sat my outside with me, 
have to sit back and we have keep dragging. Yeah. Then we get to make a uh, artist uh, and sometimes we uh, artist feel more and cut it but sometimes I've dropped back and could do the experience because um, maybe I made a mistake or maybe I didn't fit for more than I thought because everyone has different listeners of if someone put in the yes. podcast. Of course. And I was up. Uh, it took me six years to become out of it to join the stream. I just kill it. That's a long time. Six years because at the same time I was coming to try everything and rather so it took me a long time not to look for the people I can't them laughter. I can't see laughter for background work. Mm-hmm. Mm. Those are hard to get. Like mm. the future for to a closer mark. Right. <laughs> okay. the other way. The other two. Well, for short film, the hand shag factor. Do you think so? Is it, so? So obviously, networking is an important part of the process. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, do you have any questions, Miguel? No, on top of my head, but it's interesting which, about her story and her history. Wow, you are just so prepared for today. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let me tell you. In the process of getting Miguel as a new host, um, speaking of networking, um, he must have called me about 48 times uh, since he was scheduled as a co-host saying how ready he was going to be, and now he doesn't have any questions for some reason. Sorry. Nah. It's a fact. I'm not really interviewer like, person, but it's all good. Yeah, he, he he auditioned to be a co-host on an interview show, and now he's telling me he's not really an interview person. I mean, uh, I love movies. Unbelievable. So, yeah, I'm with famous, famous people. I've, I've done interviews with, yeah, got famous people. Like, like who? Fam. What? Fam. Have to move the What? 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 High school musical. Yeah. High school musical. Yeah. I've talked with her. The corporate and other people. Okay. I was a manager with Starlight. Favorite look at I met them. I interviewed with them. Mom put my blog on the newspaper and wrote some. Newspaper articles, uh-huh. some of blogs, and some on camera. Like, I interview actors from a different show called Switch at Birth. Sure, Switch at Birth. I'm a busy family. I'm a man with four way is Santa Clarita. Uh. I'm interviewed. Um, John McClure from Scrum. Oh, really? In Scrubs, good, good, good show. Great show, actually. It's fantastic. Um, yeah. On for a very long time. Um, funny, but they make sure to not be too funny with it. You know, it's like um, you laugh sometimes, but not always, which I think is a very unique concept for uh, comedy. Like MASH? No, not like MASH. Um, and and uh, comedy. Yes, comedies are great. So I have a question. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm not 100% certain, but... So are you a performer who has a handi- handicap or disability? Well, 
I am a blue boomer, but I have a good problem. So, do you think that that affects you as an actor in Los Angeles? No, because it makes me different from other blue boomer, because it's hard to find a blue boomer in long sad habits. So, it's just a cut of more, because it fits me, because I'm not competitive with Norman's elegant performance for a And that's more, everybody has his turn for a screen time. Everybody has to turn, and I have a lot of tough performance and with support of him, it's like a table behind Tipper's song with a little lacquer and some other with him moving and some other to come to and be support it's like a, a bit to short film to feather. Exactly, of course, so that's great, that's great. I just think it's time to be, time to be again. He's a little cat and more like I was in a film called my track. This is New York City. Okay. Because I've been looking for type of people. Right. So this is a okay. If I do have every class, I have to compete with a lot of people without every class. It makes it different from other people. Of course. It, it makes you unique and special, right. which is what people want in actors, right? They want someone who stands out in the crowd and who is, like you said, unique. And that's what we're all about on the Z-List, offering unique and uh, new introspectives into what it is to be an actor in Hollywood. So, what's the worst thing that ever happened to you in your career? Um, but, no, sometime, when I come with a short film that I to the film sometimes they can't the suit because every time I put it to the computer and every time I will come to a suit they start I will not say every time I will say every time then when I <laughs> come to the cab and for the two to two other, um, well, at the same time, people um, work in film and want the time and to say to me for my time. Well, that's, well, we won't, well, we won't, we didn't keep you waiting, did we? <laughs> and we, and we also, um, and we, and we appreciate your time also. Yeah. So we got no, it both. Nice Wait, no, 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 it's not. I was just uh, making a general observation. So, is there? So, why don't you take a moment to into the camera, let people know anything you want to say to the aspiring actor out there. Let them know, uh, you know, any advice you can give them. Um. Wow, I'm just moving. Any advice you can give them into being an actor, any personal experience, or anything you want to say to them? Um, right, that's a camera. Sure. Okay. Well, I think if you want to become a performer, you should call for it. But also, always have a backup plan because I'm not always looking for the time of the performer. I can do it, I can write, I can do other stuff, make sure I have a backup plan, but also, let's keep dragging. And maybe I'll go look sharp, see what type of action like, and to cover the trauma, scare, or interview talk song, or like television, or a film, no other stuff, I think, and I'll go to look sharp or not look at that or uh, cautious meters 
or have a fad where the best fit is a more time action make an action and a big turn on access to music videos or movies or commercials I will have to explore where we fit no say people move to California for that but the same time we may do better than the work because that's what we fit so people stay the work or come here California or have a couple theater I've done theater before but I was a cut I did theater I love theater, but I have to work at a theater, so I have to have time, same as we play. So that's why I have to film everything I love theater. So I have to theater, work at theater, I have to stay to shape with the action of the class, with the class, because I have to stay to shape. All right. Well, thank you very much, Megan. I believe that was quite informative to all types of people out there. And, um, yeah, and uh, I bet James is kicking himself now for not being on the show anymore. And uh, we're going to have a chat after this show, that's for sure. Why? So, um, you know, we're. I think we're off to a great start uh, now. Um, that James is no longer on the show and um, yeah this is you know has been a great episode and if you want more great content like this tune into the Z list every week um, for our new season with new hosts um, we'll see we'll, we'll see how that works out mm -hmm. okay. and um, yeah um, Mm. Tune in next week, and uh, we'll give you new and unique insights into being an actor in Los Angeles. And uh, mm -hmm. happy April, everyone! Happy April! Happy April!